Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a lovely Omega Speedmaster Chrono Date, also known as the Speedy Reduced. This is two-tone that I can embrace. Gold features on a black matte dial with a lovely stainless steel 39mm case. It wears well on my 16cm circumference wrist. Now you can see that there are two ways to measure this watch across the wrist. There's lug to lug, which is a nice and tidy 44.6mm. And then there's a beefier solid end link measurement, which is the true distance across the wrist. And that's 50.2mm, which surprised me. This is a watch that can hold its own on a bigger wrist, even as it can wear on a wrist small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. The thickness of the watch is neither thick nor thin. It's more the shape of the case and the cantilever of the bezel that will cause the tightest of cuffs to get hung up. The total thickness is 14.2 millimeters and the spacing between the lugs, if you want to accessorize with a strap, is 18 millimeters. Zooming in, you can see that the watch has a handsome bracelet. It's a semi-sport style and Omega was very big on hybrid bracelet aesthetic back in the 90s and early 2000s. Bracelets that looked like they could be either dress watch bracelets or sports bracelets. You have the chunky three-link design of a sports bracelet, but you've also got a little bit of contrast. You've got the narrow intermediate links. You've got the oval cross section and the polished outer facing that gives this one some of the elegance of a dress bracelet. And I think this watch could be worn equally well with a bathing suit or a business suit. Now. The clasp is an interesting piece because it's sort of a period piece. This is a clasp design you don't see on Omega watches anymore. It's a single trigger design that has a slider system inside to make it easier to fit it up and over the wrist. As you can see, this is an older design, so this Omega uses pin sleeves for sizing the removable links, but there are quite a few of them, so you're basically guaranteed to get a precise fit. That gives you a large amount of adjustment. It's a handsome looking bracelet, and it's a fairly substantial one. In spite of the age and the pin sleeves, it feels solid. You can see that the case is very familiar. Lyre style polished bevels at the end of the lugs and you can also see that there's satin finish that runs longitudinally around the case. The underside of the bezel is all of high polish and that contrasts nicely with the case band itself and then there's polish on the tack and this is something I like because a metal tack is less likely to disfigure, mar and mark than a anodized aluminum insert. You can see that all of the original lacquer inside the individual characters is present. So this watch is quite old now at this point. I say minimally, this watch is probably about 17, 18, 19 years old. Nevertheless, it does look very fresh. The dial itself is a matte black. You can see there's an inner disc, there's an outer scale for the hours, applique hour indices, and you can see outboard, there's a sort of golden chaptering minutes on a raised plinth that borders the inner bezel. You can see that there are polished chapterings for the individual sub-registers, so that's an upscale look. I love the two-tone effect of gold on the dial and nothing but steel external to the watch. You can see that the movement is an automatic, and the movement is a 7750. 42 hour power reserve, stop seconds, quick set date, cam lateral clutch chronograph, and 50 meters water resistant. It beats at a four hertz beat rate, it has 25 joules, it's tank tough, it's reliable. You can see, and you can own, this Omega Speedmaster chronograph date, part of the speedy reduced continuity, but I should add, with sapphire crystal, and make it yours on the watch box. Omega Speedmaster automatic chronograph date.